Hi guys, welcome to a Princess Connect Redive video. My name is Kwang Su, and today we will be discussing whether you should pull for Nanakatano, the magical girl of Twilight Caravan. You know how I said during Halloween that Halloween Masaki would be useless for clan battles sooner rather than later? Well, that moment has arrived. Nanaka also provides a magical defense shred while also bringing in the DPS to boot. That is, if you're willing to spend the Divine Amulets for it. Nanaka's Union Burst is Nanaka Infinite Blast. This inflicts massive magic damage to the enemy with the highest current HP based on percentage. Nanaka's skill 1 is Stardust Magic, which reduces magic defense to enemies within the radius of the target by a small amount. Nanaka's skill 2 is Energy Impact, which inflicts moderate magic damage to one enemy with the highest current HP based on percentage. The target will also be inflicted with stun for 1.5 seconds. Finally, her EX skill is Awakening Mode, which is a medium increase to her own magic attack at the start of battle. So in terms of Nanaka overall, she is an AoE, small magic defense shred in a small range. She has a 1.5 second stun on her skill 2. Interesting mechanics with attacking the highest percentage HP target on the enemy team, and she is a 2 star character, which means she is later available in the arena shop. But to be used in the next clan battle, she will need heavy investment, aka divine amulets. So in terms of clan battle, she is a small magic defense shred, decent DPS to back it up with her union burst, unlike Holly Misaki, and she is a slightly better alternative to Ana slash Holly Misaki slash Carol at higher stars. So you should pull for this CB if you are in a top 100 clan. She does provide more damage, but the difference is pretty minor, so it's not enough to justify the divine amulet investment needed to make it worth at lower ranks of play. In terms of Arena, she brings a small AoE magic defense shred in a small range. She deals massive damage on her UB to burst down high HP targets, she has a stun that can disrupt midline to backline units, and unfortunately both her UB and her stun can be taunted. And unfortunately, she doesn't really bring anything that is relevant in the current meta, aka the Holly Shinobu meta, so she's not really that useful. On top of that, you pull her as a 2 star, which means that she needs to find amulet investment to see play, so basically she's pretty bad. So you should pull for Arena if you're a massive Giga Whale who wants to show off, or she's your weeb waifu that you've been waiting for so you can hear her speak your weeb lingo. So in terms of my rating for clan battle, I would give Nanaka an 8 out of 10. She is a small magic defense shred, decent DPS that makes her a slightly better option than others available at present, such as Holly Misaki and, uh, or Carol. Um, however, she does need DA investment to make her shine from the next CB, and she will be available in the arena shop later, so it's not like you really need her now. She'll be much more useful later for those free to play players. And uh, I guess technically, uh, she is more justifiable to pull for CB than arena. Because by investing in her now, you're pot potentially getting more jewels from clan battle from the extra damage she offers. For Arena, I would rate her a 3 out of 10. She's another magic DPS unit, so we still don't have a lot of those, so that's nice. Um, however, she doesn't really bring anything that can bring her into the current meta that we're in, aka Halloween Shinobu, aka a little bit of Ilya here and there. Um, she does need DA investment to be useful in Arena. And if you're doing that for Arena, it's a waste because even if like you get her to 5 stars, it's not like she's better than like your Koka or your Summer Carol, right? So if you're a free-to-play player and you're not a clan battle player, she's 100% not worth pulling and should definitely be skipped. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot and helps me to reach out to more people in the community as well as to make better quality analysis and content. My name is Kwang Su, and I'll see you guys in the next video.